Thank you for, for inviting me and uh, it's a pleasure uh, for Al Jazeera to uh, be the platinum sponsor of this year's uh, Al Sharq Youth Forum. Uh, my name is Abdullah Najjar and I'm the executive director of the Global Brand and Communication at Al Jazeera Media Network. I look after um, a span of different responsibilities that goes from brand, creative, uh, marketing, commercial activities, the distribution and um, the public relation and the international relation of the entire network. Um, Al Jazeera experience from the beginning um, was to capitalize on a revenue generation model that could bring revenue to the, to the network. So we started with many media buying agencies um, until 2012 where the network decided to do the actual sales activities um, on their own. Um, that was an experience that has helped the team to build up um, an internal knowledge uh, to be uh, able to sell advertisement globally for all the platforms. Um, the experience itself started before I even joined uh, Al Jazeera. I joined Al Jazeera only in 2013, uh, I'm sorry, 2014, so it is about three years and a half now that I've been uh, in, Al in Al Jazeera. With the team that runs the commercial activities, we have managed to do a quantum leap, um, not only in the digital ad sales, in, in the linear ad sales revenue, but also in the digi uh, digital uh, ad revenue. Uh, we managed to increase the ad revenue on the digital platform to 300% within within two years. Um, Google used this uh, success rate as a case study in their in their different forums. Um, the potential of uh, digital revenue was uh, going up and we took that opportunity to increase the revenue that uh, could come from the different assets that the Jazeera Media Network has. But today, um, the industry works in, in a bit of a different model. So the linear TV advertisement model still keeps 80% of the entire market share and 20 per, the remaining 20% is for the digital assets. But it's well known in the, the digital assets, the digital companies who own platforms such as Google, Facebook, or Twitter, they make more than 85% of the total revenue. I think, I, think, I think it will get higher, it will go higher, and um, the amount of time it takes could take probably uh, ten, tens, tens of, ye of, of, of years, but definitely it will, it will pick up because um, the social media platform uh, owners and providers and, 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 uh, and, the, and the creators of those platforms are also expanding and also changing the way that they are managing their business. So I think um, uh, that the way that the industry is moving up will definitely uh, be seen as an increase in the digital market revenue, but it will take time. Thank you for asking this very interesting question. I, in fact, talked about this subject yesterday, yesterday uh, during the tea time session. Uh, somebody asked me a similar kind of question. Uh, three years ago, I thought the TV was going to die. I personally thought that TV was going to die based on the research and the information that was, that was available at that, at that time. Uh, the speed at which that the digital assets were picking up in terms of viewership and the speed at which that TV was declining. If you see the two lines and um, you set a time to it depending on the speed that it was happening, you would have thought that within two years uh, there won't be any TV sets in the world anymore. Uh, I've changed my mind later because a lot of studies that came after that uh, indicated that TV is definitely not, not, not dying and 
Um, when I said that 80% of the market, of the advertisement market share in the world comes from TV, 50% um, of the global advertisement market is in the United States. And a recent study have indicated that the people who watch TV in the United States watch TV on an average of six hours a day. So TV is definitely not going away. TV is getting smarter, is getting, I think, similar to the, to the different um, digital uh, assets that people use in the daily life. For example, the smartphones, the smart tablets, the, the laptops, the, 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 the computers. And I think TV is almost um, uh, being probably similar to um, a smart tablet or a digital tablet, but in, but in bigger size. Um, Al Jazeera Media Network has uh, been working with all the uh, digital distribution platforms, and we are available on almost 99% of those platforms, whether those are smart TV or, or, or an add-on um, box that can be added to the smart TV. TV and for our viewers to be able to see uh, Al Jazeera English, Al Jazeera Arabic, and, and also other, uh, other assets. We are available on things like Apple TV, on Roku, on Hulu, um, Amazon Fire, uh, on, on an Xbox, on, on a Sony PlayStation, and also smart TVs, all the smart TVs that carry an Android um, operating system. You can download an app of Al Jazeera English and Arabic and watch it live, live streaming as you watch it uh, in a normal TV screen with a direct set, set satellite feed. So TV is definitely not going away. TV is staying, but it's getting smarter. It is not. No, TV would get smarter. So TV, t because, because of the recent study, I have indicated that there are average six hours. On average, there are six hours of time spent by US TV viewers in the UAE US watching t t TV. TV is part of their daily life, so TV is not going to go away. TV will not be replaced by digital assets like the smartphones and the tablets, etc. But it will be available, but it will get smarter. It, wa it might be able, it will provide similar kind of services that's currently provided by the uh, digital digital platforms, uh, the tablets and the uh, and the and the smartphones, etc. Et but it will but it will remain. Uh, Al Jazeera Media Network were, um, uh, was a pioneer, in fact, to see this trend uh, happening in the in the market and in the viewership market. We have launched um, AJ Plus uh, out of San Francisco in 2013. And uh, we first started with the English language. The idea of AJ Plus was to target the millennials, uh, the 16 to 30 years old, with news items that's appealing to them. They are graphics, videos, uh, short videos that takes the message of the news across to those uh, young generation because most of them are are in the move they 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 prefer probably watching the news on their mobile gadgets versus versus the t tv and within a very short period of of time less than 2 years we have reached more than we had more than 6 billion reach and then we have launched um, an Arabic platform and a Spanish platform, and there are other platforms that will be launched in new lang languages very soon. So Al Jazeera um, did uh, did not react. They they were proactive in providing uh, services because they saw that the dynamics of the market were changing, and we had to have a product that um, is available to. Uh, is available and appealing to the young audiences that wanted to consume the news in that exact fashion as as you have referred to. And there are other digital uh, news providers in the world that they have started with a digital product, not like a Jazeera, they had a linear TV and went into digital, but they've started with a digital project and now they are thinking to have a TV service as well.
there are there there are definitely um, the services that's provided by Al Jazeera Media Network cover a very wide spectrum of what you have indicated. We have all the platforms, we have all the platforms on all the available current digital assets, social media platforms, etc. And we would like to use this opportunity to, um, to announce that Al Jazeera is launching a new product very soon and it covers in ex exactly um, and focuses exactly on what you have said. So there will be um, a new program that will be launched soon and we will announce it. So stay tuned for a new thing that's coming up from Al Jazeera Media Network. Al Jazeera has established a new digital division uh, very recently and um, the digital division have launched two, two new products. Uh, it has already been announced, a project uh, that is related to virtual, virtual reality. And we were uh, the only media organization that um, did produce a news, um, uh, a news segment using the virtual reality model uh, on a 360 degrees um, with the current Rohingya uh, genocide in Myanmar. And it's available for those who have this gadget, they can see it. And we have made um, an announcement about it a couple of days ago. And it's available online for those people who are interested to, 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 to see. So that product called Contrast VR. And there is a product that we have also launched called Jetty. And it's related to, podcast, to podcasts and digital radio and digital radio transmissions uh, on the digital platform. And there is this a new product that I have mentioned uh, about that's coming soon. There is definitely um, a change in the media landscape. Uh, I indicated in my speech yesterday a model of Washington Post that they are using uh, artificial intelligence to uh, produce sport news and financial news. So there is no human intervention in providing such news. And there are other media organizations following uh, or applying the new technologies that are available using the uh, artificial intelligence and other forms um, of technology to produce in, in, in use. The landscape in the market is definitely changing. And Al Jazeera being a global media player in the world will continue to uh, assess those changes and see where we can add value to the, uh, to the loyal viewers that we have uh, around the globe. People think that uh, Al Jazeera, because it is broadcasted from the Middle East, it's, um, it's a Middle Eastern uh, t t channel. That concept is not there any anymore. Al Jazeera now is the peoples of the world channel. It's, it's a global channel, it's with a global feed. It has with 350 million household viewers world, worldwide. And we are part of this world where technology is advancing so fast and the pace at which the technology is, ad is advancing, our digital team have got all the plans ready in order to be able to be provide um, the news in different formats using different technologies. Um, and as I said, the two new products that we have launched on podcast and on virtual reality are available products currently being used and seen by those different people. So we will be um, uh, working with the uh, technology providers in order to convert those content that we produce and make it available for our viewers globally. Our editorial integrity and our independence uh, and the um, courageous journalists that we have are our assets. Um, we continue to provide the news with um, in-depth analysis and bring the opinion and the other opinion and also um, with courage and professionalism. This is what Al Jazeera is all about. This is, this is what Al Jazeera has been doing since its, its inception 21 years ago. 
and we will continue doing uh, exactly the this, this, this same and doing exactly what we know, uh, what we know best.